What's up Sin fam? In this guide I'll be showing you some of my strats on how to defeat Alagor on hard mode. Let's go. Alright, before we get started, let's have a quick look at the materia I've got equipped. I have Ice Materia equipped to all of my party members, and this is because Alagor is weak against Ice Magic. In combination with this, I have Elemental Materia equipped to both of my melee characters, Cloud and Tifa. I have the Breach Materia equipped to Cloud to remove Alagor's Reflect, and I recommend having 2-3 to three Prayers and Revives in the party and equipping Shiva as the summon for this battle. The rest of your Materia loadout is optional. As for equipment, I have headbands equipped to each of the party members, and this is to avoid being put to sleep by Sweeping Gaze. Alright, without further ado, let's get it. Almost there, come on. Right. <sighs> Alagor is a three-phase boss, and with each phase he gets progressively more difficult. You can however beat him very easily if you know what to look out for. In phase one, you want to focus on counter-attacking Trample, casting Blazaga to pressure him, and then using Focus Thrust to push up his Dagger Bar. If done right, you should be able to move him into phase two within the first minute. If Alagor uses Sweeping Gaze, simply dodge roll backwards to avoid it. In phase 2, Alagor takes to the sky. In this phase, your priority is to knock him out of the sky with Cloud. You can do this whenever Alagor is stationary. Once you hit him enough, he'll come back to the ground where you can go back to using your phase 1 strat with the added shipping container to hide behind to avoid damage. One thing to note is that Alagor will begin this phase by casting Reflect on the party. This means that you should not try to heal your party members using green magic materia. This is where prayer comes in handy. If Alagor gets off a second Reflect, you should use the Breach Materia to remove this from him so that you can still continue to cast magic on him. If done correctly, this phase should take no longer than 3 minutes. No more tricks.
it together. I'll take care of them. Phase 3 is by far the most tedious and difficult part of the fight. Alagor starts running laps around the party, and if you stand stationary too long, a javelin is dropped onto your head. Further to this, any sort of melee damage during this phase is almost certain to end with a dead party member. Begin this phase by summoning Shiva, and keep running around in circles until Alagor stops swinging his javelin. This is a sign that he is about to slow down and stop moving. Once he stops swinging his javelin, begin casting ice magic on either one of his chariot wheels. Once a chariot wheel is frozen, you can begin to melee it until it is destroyed. Repeat this with the second wheel and you'll stagger Alagor. Once staggered, it's GG. Not over yet. Can you fight? We gotta switch it up. Hang back. So that's it, if you found this helpful please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until next time, happy gaming.
go. Right. Right. Hmm. Hmm? 